by the Pope's statement on the environment, Laudato Si. Create a God present in the whole universe and in the small, smallest of creatures. You embrace all that exists with your tenderness. Fearfully and wonderfully made, we celebrate fathering in all its complexity. We know many have experienced this differently in life and in loss. Empower us with your love that we may work to protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace. 
that we may live as brothers and sisters, harming no one. God of the poor, help us rescue the abandoned and forgotten of this earth. Bring healing to our lives, inviting us to protect the world, sowing beauty, not pollution, and destruction. God of life, transform those who would exploit the earth or its vulnerable people. Teach us to discover the worth of all created things and of space to contemplate. May we find our unity in all things and in all people. Today we pray we might overcome our tendency to selfishness, greed or apathy. Inspire us to retake our aim. Redeem humanity as we care for the world. Encourage us, we pray, in our struggle for justice, love and peace. Amen. Genesis 2, 4 to 9 and 15 to 22. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth and no herb of the field had yet sprung up. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life, also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to till and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you may freely eat of every tree in the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For the day that you eat of it, you shall die. Then the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helper as his partner. So out of the ground, the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every bird and every living creature. That was its name. The man gave names to all cattle and to the birds of the air and to every animal in the field. But for the man there was not found a helper as his partner. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man. And he slept and then he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. Therefore, a man leaves his father and his mother, clings to his wife, and they become one flesh. John 3, 1 to 16. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses. 
<clears throat> and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, how can these things be? Jesus answered him, are you a teacher of Israel and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly, I tell you, you speak of, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I've told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. There is no planet B. A simple attempt to remind us in action on the environment and denial of the clear scientific evidence of global warming will have catastrophic consequences. And it inspired Craig Rucastle's ABC TV program, The Fight for Planet A, Our Climate Challenge. A blend of Aussie households and Oatlands public school students do simple things to save carbon, lower costs, and contribute to renewing the creation. Hybrid cars, less underfloor warming, shorter showers, green energy, less lights, solar power, a more varied diet, raising the average aircon temperature in the school canteen from about 16 to maybe 23, and even turning off idle computers in the computer room. All of this reminds me of my friend Lisa Riley who would be dreadfully embarrassed to be singled out. However, someone living out their faith as a humble environmental champion. If anyone's ever been to the brilliant Carryong Eco Garden next to the old tennis club and fire station, you would know what I mean. This is someone who back in UCA youth events decades ago was bagging up food scraps in double bags and putting them out for people to take home at the end of the event to compost at home. And working with Newcastle University when we hosted our Uniting Church National Youth event at uh, Newcastle in 2003. So that it was a record waste minimisation event with that many people on campus for the university. She's also been a long time advocate for boomerang bags where you make the cloth shopping bags according to the pattern and put the uh, logo on the side and many independent shopping centres have agreed to have bins outside where you can take and return shopping bags as you need them. This is way before the ban on plastic shopping bags in which Lisa was also an advocate. We now have uh, return and earn coin deposit largely due to the efforts of people like Lisa. This includes even dressing up as a Coca-Cola bottle and driving, um, driving a uh, large can or bottle around to different protests and awareness raising events. And so someone like me celebrates that by, although I could recycle all my Coke Zero cans, collecting them and taking them to the return and earn and participating in that. The season of creation is a global ecumenical Christian church's celebration of the environment and of God's creativity. We will be celebrating and reflecting on that throughout the rest of September. It invites us to understand our history, our responsibilities and God's call for us to follow Jesus as we serve in the world. It reminds us that we are shaped by our story by our history and by our actions. 
Genesis 2 verse 7, it says, Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. The human being is the Adam brought forth from the ground, or Adamar. And Genesis 2 tells us there's an alternative narrative for the creation. These are literally literary style myths, origin stories, narrative told to explain our beginnings. Genesis or the history of the story of what and why. Honestly, not really how, not a scientific textbook. I think it's true to say there were no news limited journalists present at the time reporting on the events as eyewitnesses. You see, in Genesis 1, humanity is created to till the land. In Genesis 2, to serve the land. It's part of our worship. Humanity, animals and the creation came from the earth, the dust, the dirt. God creates a helper, a co-worker, not a subordinate. In chapter 1, human beings are created in the image of God and all is in harmony. In chapter 2... Human beings are created in chapter 2. Human beings seek to be like God and conflict arises. So the whole narrative, the whole origin story flows out of this tension between being created like God and seeking to become God, the possibility and burden. In this telling of the story, humanity shifts from theocentric to an Anthropocene world, a world where we play a role and have an impact on the environment. Next week, let's explore 10 scientific measures confirming our impact on the environment, commonly called climate change. But that's next week. For now, I offer 21 creation disciplines. After all, it takes three weeks to create a habit. 21 disciplines for us to consider as part of our response to God, our following of Jesus. Taking these seriously would encourage bigger actions and we could just change the world.